Hello and welcome to a quick demo of developing with unpacked data in Arma 3 using PBO prefix and file patching. The point of doing so is so that when you make a change to the files that you're working on, they can immediately be tested in the game without repacking the PBO or even restarting the mission. So here we have loaded a uh, very small mod, it's just uh, config.cpp and a test script.sqf and the PBO under add-ons main and then the script and what it's just uh, doing is hinting the uh, a string with the time so if we come in here and run that script it's just going to hint the, t uh, the time up top and then if we make a change to it with file patching enabled so if we put test2 and save come back in and run it again now we have test2 so this allows you to make very quick changes and uh, get the feedback on that uh, right away. Now let's see how to go about setting this up all the way from zero. We'll use these uh, steps here on the wiki page. But first of all, we're, we need to set up a top-level prefix folder. They recommend X. A lot of mods use Z or Z. So we'll just use X. Literally go into your Armor 3 install folder, right-click new folder, and name it X. Go into there, and here we're going to make a folder that is the three or four, you know, short prefix of the mod. So this is uh, pre PBO prefix file patching demo. So we'll make a new folder called PFD. There we go. And then number three, we want add-ons as the next level. And then this one is going to be the PBO name. Uh, so we'll just call it main, but there are only one. So this PBO is going to be named PFD underscore main. Now this is going to be where the config.cpp sits. So we'll just uh, make a very simple one here. And all it's going to hold is a CFG patches. So PFD main for the PBO name. Uh, this is just going to be like a string. Probably don't even need that. Uh, we definitely don't need CFG functions yet. And then we'll have a, a test script file. So another text document, test script. SQF. And we'll just fill it with a very simple uh, here we go. Int format test time, just so we know it's a new one. And this is the path to this file. So from X, PFD, add-ons, main, test script. And then we will need the PBO prefix file. So literally copy that. New text. You can um, have it as .txt or you can take off the extension, doesn't matter. And then what you want in there is all of this. Again, that path. So now that is basically ready. We can go to add-on builder and build this. And we'll send it to the add-ons folder where the uh, PBOs will sit. There's our PBO. And then we're going to add PFD as a mod to load in Arma. So local mod, this path here, and load. We can load 
that mod, which are only one. And of course, we'll need the parameter enable file patching. If you don't have it here, you can search for it on the second tab. And you can add it to your favorites. So make sure that's checkmarked. And then we'll launch Arma. And once you're back in Arma, you can just run this script file and uh, it will basically do whatever is in that file. So here we go. We will uh, run that file and it'll do int. And we can update it with uh, you know a number, save that, and run it again, and it will say two up top. So there you go. That's the very basics of using file patching and PPO prefix to very quickly iterate on your script files.